using a TI-8384 plus calculator for inferences about two proportions. This video uses example one from section 9-2 titled Large Denominations Less Likely to be Spent and example two from section 9-2 titled Confidence Interval for Claim About Denominations. When using a TI-8384 plus calculator for inferences about two population proportions, you must know the sample size n and the number of successes x for the samples from each of the two populations. For either sample, if you don't know the number of successes but you know the value of the sample size and the sample proportion, you can calculate the number of successes by multiplying the sample size by the sample proportion. Then, round the result to the nearest whole number. We begin by providing the procedure for a hypothesis test, followed by the procedure for confidence intervals. For a hypothesis test, in which we are testing a claim about two population proportions, use the following procedure. First, press STAT, then use the arrow key to select Tests from the top menu. Select the menu item of 2PROP Z-Test for a hypothesis test of a claim involving two proportions. Press Enter. Next, enter the values of the number of successes and sample size for both populations. All these values must be whole numbers. In this example, for X1, we enter 12. For N1, we enter 46. For X2, we enter 27. And for N2, we enter 43. For P1, select the type of test, two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed. Select the option that uses the same symbol as the alternate hypothesis. For a two-tailed case, select the option does not equal P2. For a left-tailed test, select the option less than P2. And for a right-tailed test, select the option greater than P2. In this example, we select the option less than P2. Use the arrow keys to scroll down to the bottom line, select Calculate, then press Enter. The test statistic Z and P value are provided in the second and third rows of the results as shown. The P value of 0.0002 rounded is less than the desired significance level of 0.05, so we reject the null hypothesis of P1 equal P2. Because we reject the null hypothesis, we conclude that there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that population 1 is less than population 2. In other words, there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that people with money in large denominations are less likely to spend relative to people with an equivalent amount of money in smaller denominations. Next, we look at the procedure for finding a confidence interval estimate of the difference between two population proportions. Press STAT, then use the arrow key to select Tests from the top menu. Select the menu item of 2PROPZINT for a hypothesis test of a claim involving two proportions. Press Enter. Enter the values for the number of successes and sample size for both populations. All of these values must be whole numbers. Again, in this example, for X1 we enter 12, for N1 we enter 46, for X2 we enter 27, and for N2 we enter 43. For C level, enter the desired confidence level. In this example, we are constructing a 90% confidence interval, so we enter 0.9. Use the arrow keys to select Calculate, then press Enter for the results. On the first line, we see the 90% confidence interval. In this example, the confidence interval limits do not contain zero, implying that there is significant difference between the two populations. Because both confidence interval limits are negative, the confidence interval suggests that the value of population proportion 1 is less than the value of population proportion 2. There does appear to be sufficient evidence to support the claim that money in large denomination is less likely to be spent relative to an equivalent amount in many smaller denominations.